Oké, shalom, shalom. Kom je alle. Kohol Yimla. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bahashim, Kakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who do rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to the best of their ability. Jachanan the Waf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And, um, you know, just to let the brothers. The Akiyam and Akwaf, you know, no, hey, brothers and sisters, keep on praying for the downfall of this place. Keep on praying for the downfall of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man's kingdom. Because we're seeing it, you know, the, the, the Lord is answering our prayers, you know, it's coming through, man. We just have to be patient and um, faithfully just wait, man, you know, for what the Lord is going to do to this place. And, you know, I'm going into this lesson, um, well, this is in the politics, uh, Washington Examiner. It says Biden bummer confidence in America dragged to lowest point. And it really is. I mean, we we since that guy has been in office, this place has, has dr drastically dropped. All the mirth is gone. It's like, you know, you used to be able to <laughs> go and kind of enjoy yourself. It's just now people just showing up and it's like they have this look of despair on their face. You know, they got their new outfits on, new shoes, they geared to the T. <laughs> But they just have this look of they don't know just they don't know what the hell is going on. It's just a look of real deep sadness, so to speak. Everybody arguing, you know, everybody got that dark look in the eyes. But anyway, man, because, you know, I'm out right now. I'm just out in the yard. There's a few people on the block. You know what I'm saying? Broke out their little grills. But, you know, to celebrate this this week ass holiday. But it's not like how it used to be. I remember when, man, it, the whole block would be you. You. I ain't even smelled no barbecue today. <laughs> Normally, you'll smell barbecue grills going all through the hood. You know, but like I said, it's a few, you know, um, people that, you know, as I was driving, I seen, but it's nowhere near like how it was, especially before the COVID-19 thing went down. But man, 10 years or so back, man. Now, it's, 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 it's still daylight out. Sun hasn't went down yet, so we already know they're going to, you know, of course, Jake going to Jake gonna, um, pop some down firecrackers, though. They're going to they gonna shoot off some fireworks. Jake going gonna to get down. But even with stuff like that, I've been, I passed all kinds of fireworks stands throughout the past couple of days, especially yesterday. Me and the Ock was out doing something, and we was passing by fire, firework stand after firework stand after firework stand, and there was literally no one there. Generally, man, people be... You know, um, flooding those places to get their fireworks, but people are going through so much. They they they, they cut back on what they normally would cook. They <laughs> they're not inviting nobody over because nobody's bringing no food. You know what I'm saying? And because and, inflation and then killed the pockets on a lot of people. People just not into what they used to be into no more. The Lord is really destroying this place. You know. It, it, he's really destroying the mirth, the gladness, the happiness, the joy of this place, man. People are not into what they used to be into. I'm, I'm witnessing it. Cause like I said, when I seen those fireworks stands, and me and me and um, Ock, we was in um, so-called white people land, where generally, you know, you know they get down, you know. But man, psh, nobody can afford none of that. You know, the shit is expensive. The food is expensive. The fireworks are expensive. But Jake is, you know, they, they Jake gonna try and do it. That's one thing about Jake. Jake's still going to get them new shoes. Jake's going to still get them new outfits, you know, but it, it's not at the height of what it used to be. People just chilling, man. You wouldn't even think that it, it, it's, it, it's 4th of July. You see? But let's let's read into a little bit of this. I'm going to get the title again. It says, Biden bummer, confidence in America dragged to lowest point. And it is. I just seen another article. Matter of fact, let me see if I got that in here still. Check my history. This might not be the one that I was using, but, um, yeah, because this place is through, man. I don't know if they were talking about, uh, damn Disneyland. They were talking, because, you know, Disneyland be packed around this. Here we go, right here. It says Disney Parks absolutely, it's like here, Disney Parks absolutely dead on typically crowded holiday weekend. And that's been for the past couple of holidays. You know, generally, um, you know, that place would be packed, man. You got to make reservations in advance, all this other stuff. So that's that's one of the a, a great American pastimes. So that's another one that has failed. Another thing that um, brothers have been going off into as well is um, 
This boy right here said lightning strikes kills over 30 cows. It was a couple of hundred cows that was um, poisoned somewhere else. But man, it, it, this place is through. <laughs> through and we love it, man. So we, we're just going to continue on praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to, you know, put the fist down on, you know, to put his foot on the neck of our enemies, man. And that's coming in a real way, too. Soon, man. We're praying soon. We're hastening the day. It says confidence in America has been put in a free fall by the president of Joe Biden, according to some um, sobering critical news Gallup report. And, it, and the original picture that they had was him on the ground, you know, because this guy, he can't stay on his feet. And then the day I was just looking at an article. Let me see, man. <laughs> I know I keep going. But, oh, man. What was that? They found some uh, supposedly found some cocaine in the White House. They say at the White House. Let me see, though. I might not have it. This might have, it might have been in another um, device that I was using earlier. But anyway, that's in the news. How you got cocaine at the White House, man? Don't, I, I, I mean, come on, man. And, we, and you already know this guy's son. Oh, my. Mm. Oh, my. He's out here. Got the old man looking stupid as hell. <laughs> okay, it says, uh, the, uh, Confidence in America has been put in, in a free fall by the presidency of Joe Biden. It says, handed a nation on the rise in 2020 by the Trump administration, the line tracking, the confidence people have in their national government has been in nonstop decline. It says at 46% in 2020, it now squats at 31%. After President Joe Biden took office, confidence in government slipped to 40% in 2021 and again to 31% in 2022. This is on par with the lowest rates of confidence measured in the U.S. government since the Gallup started tracking this globally in 2006. Confidence in the government by adults polled has not been high for, de for a decade, Gallup data show. And each recent president has seen low points. Yeah, man, it's, it's, it hasn't been good. Hell, the last, hey, man, these last three, four presidents, it hasn't been good. It says it compared the U.S. rating with others in, in a group of seven club of economic powers and found America at the bottom. Confidence is twice as high in Germany, which tops the list. Roughly one in three adults in the UK, 33%, and US, 31%, say they have confidence in their national governments, putting them at the bottom of the G7 countries. Gallup said in 2006, America was number one. And now they at the bottom. <laughs> it says, what's more... What's more, foreign confidence in Biden leadership is low. So not only are the people here in America, uh, you know, they like, man, hurry up, man. Get this motherfucker out of here. Even the people that voted for Joe Biden, man, looking like, hey, look, man, we got a week. We need something else. We cannot vote for this guy again. <laughs> and, and, and who's next on, on, on the menu? What, what you going to vote for Kamala? Because she ain't done shit. You see? But, it, but see, throughout the world, people are starting to look at this place like, hey, man, they, they falling off. These BRICS nations, you know, these people, these nations that's joining BRICS, you know, they're trying to get rid of the dollar because and even the allies of America, they, they, they like, man, hey, we can't even trust these people no more. We have to do our own thing to save us and our own people because America going to drag us all down. It says declining domestic confidence in the United States. Government has occurred alongside declining approval ratings on the world stage. Median global approval of U.S. leadership slipped to 41 percent in 2022, down from 45 percent in 2021 during Biden's first year in office. For perspective, the Venezuelans have the same confidence in their government as Americans do in the Biden administration. Wow. OK, but anyway, you see what it is, man. Gotta love it. We love it, man. And we're going to continue on praying for the downfall of our enemies, man. Because we have a righteous hatred towards this. We're just praying. He's going to. Has, 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 we're just. Get a. Uh, I got seen that and it was like, yeah, man, you know, the Lord be showing us tokens, man. But in fact, it's a scripture that goes into that. It's nice to see a token from Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai 
you know, we have faith in the Lord. It's not like we don't have faith. We don't need to see anything, you know, but it's nice to see a token here and there. It really is. <laughs> not going front because it gives you, you know, that sense of joy, man. Like, you know, the Lord, he's looking down on us and he's not letting our work go um, un, 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 unrewarded, so to speak. This is Ecclesiasticus, also known as the Book of Sirach. Chapter 25 and verse 7, it says, There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And that's what we're witnessing, the fall of our enemy. And we're happy about it, man. We're happy to see America in decline. We're happy to see that it's moving further and further, you know, um, into the, uh, uh, a space of nothingness. <laughs> I mean, it's for real. Because also the scripture says that, you know, a man that have joy of his children. And you can't have joy of your children in this man's kingdom. And to you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, because your, your, your real nationality is your Hebrew Israelites. As soon as you have a baby, that baby belongs to these so-called white people. And you do too. And y'all need to understand that. That's the reason why we need repentance. This is the reason why we need our Lord to come. And matter of fact, that's what um was what was being said in um Luke chapter one. I love Luke chapter one because Luke chapter one it gives you a rundown as to why the Lord is really coming. He's coming for the children of Israel. He's not coming. He's coming to get the children of Israel out of the hands of their enemies. He's not coming to save all these nations, man. Which they them you know they sold on you with white Jesus Christianity and all that shit, man. That, that's not scriptural. This is Luke chapter one. Let me start. I'm going to start at verse 67. It says, And his father, Zacharias, was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. See, he's the God of Israel. He's not the God. He created these other nations, but he made a contract, covenant, first covenant and the new covenant. The old and new covenant is, is for the children of Israel. He only gave the law, statutes, and commandments. He only made the deal with the children of Israel. So where all these other people come in at? But that's why Jesus Christianity, this is what your enemy has done. That's why we're so glad to see this place fall, man. It says, um, blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people and hath raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant, David. Now, who, 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 who was David? Because these Christians, they try and get rid of the Old Testament history of, of what's going into the new. You have to have that history. You can't just be like, uh, well, you know. The Lord just basically lied to Abraham. He lied to Isaac. He lied to Jacob. You know, he, he, he's only he's dealing with all the heathen nations now. That's not true. When you go into the history of David, hey, David, when David conquered them nations, man, and, was, and had their asses in subjection. They wasn't on no level with David, man. King David, man, come on, bro. Verse 70, it says, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, which those prophets was Israelites. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember the holy covenant. Who was who the fathers? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Who was the covenant given to? The children of Israel, man. Jacob's name was changed to Israel or Yahshua in the Hebrew tongue. He had 12 sons. Those 12 sons received that very same promise that was given to Abraham. And those children of Israel are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth right now to this very day. And some of them are out here celebrating with their enemy the 4th of July. And that's how destroyed we are as a people. Because we broke our end of the contract. But th this is why the Lord, Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus, is coming. He's coming to get us out of that situation. He, he came to rectify the, the, the whole situation with the old covenant for us, man. This is going to be a beautiful thing. It says that we should be, let me see, verse 70 again. And he, as he spake by the mouth of, of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. That's these nations. These are the people that's meeting up at the UN meetings, at your G20 summits, your G7 meetings, your all these, these different, um, all you see there is so-called white people, basically. Then you'll see a damn Hamite here and there. You know what I'm saying? You'll see a so-called African here and there. And we're not Africans, man. We're not Hamites. We're Shemites. 
And all those nations are in the book of Psalms, chapter 83, and it lets you know that they are the enemies of the Lord. They are the enemies of the children of Israel. And those are the very people that are in your neighborhoods that are selling you all kinds of bullshit, all kinds of abominable food, or selling you your blunts, selling you your black and miles, you know, selling you your cheap ass plastic bottle drinks. You see what I'm saying? They're the ones that, that, that own your mechanic shops. They own your supermarkets. They're the ones that's over your, your gas. You see? Your beauty supply store, your fish market, your this, your that. All these nations are in our neighborhood and, 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 and licking the wound, man. Right? It says to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to, re and to remember his holy covenant. The oath which he swore to our father Abraham. Bro, that's why I love Luke chapter um, 1, man. Because it explains to you exactly what the Lord is coming for. You can't get around it. Then you got these, these wacky-tacky-ass Christians talking about how the Lord loves everybody. Now all of a sudden, this white man that's destroying the earth, he's going to send back his white son to save everybody. When it, and they know the scripture says that the Lord is a dark, melanated man. If he was walking the earth, he would be a Negro, man. They know that. See, you Jake, man, y'all better wake y'all asses up because the Lord is about to take these people out of power. They need to be taken out of power because if they're not taken out of power, nothing will survive, man. And this is the reason why our Lord is coming, man. It says the oath which he swore to our father Abraham that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hands of our enemies might serve him without fear because we can't serve our Lord, man, in the land of our captivity, man. This man is pushing... A, B, C, D, E, F, G on our kids. We can't do nothing about it. We have no military might. We don't have no say. We're not writing no laws. This man is just stomping on us right now, man. These are enemies of ours. You Negroes better wake up, man, and learn that. And they're about to show you, too. The Lord is about to let this man loose. He's about to show you. It says that we might, you know, serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him. All the days of our life. You can't do that here in these Americas or any of these these European countries, man. These people are, are nasty. <laughs> they're 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 they're, they're um, you talking about complete filth, man, of the earth, scum of the earth, man. They writing all kinds of wicked ass laws and putting them in into play, trying to hem Jake up, man. Come on, bro. Like, but anyway, again, I like I, I didn't want to keep it long. I kind of went a little further than I thought. But hey, that's the spirit, man. You see what I'm saying? Because this shit needs to happen. And this place is a laughing stock to the world. I was speaking to somebody. I'm in Florida. That was talking about the same thing. Like this place is it, it's through. A friend of mine that own a business down in Florida. You know, I'm just talking to him, and they like, man, sh these people crazy as hell. But they're from, a, you know, from the islands, you know, so they're, you know, they're, you know, they've been here for quite some time, you know. So but anyway, they just like dealing with the American people. <laughs> it's like it's like weird as hell. Like these people crazy, man. Even Jake be running around acting like he's privileged and shit. Especially that woman. Oh, my man. That 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 in dub. That so-called black woman. Ooh we anyway, though. But see, as this place fall, the so-called black woman is going to fall right along with this place. That's why y'all better get it, get it, get it straight, man. Soon as your master who you've been serving, because y'all been serving him well, because you've come up against your own nation to help this man benefit. You know what I'm saying? The fall of our nation. But the Lord is about to get everything in, in, intact. You'll see. And, and as this so-called white man falls, you're going to fall right with him. So with that. I pray that this lesson is edifying. Come here, Shalom.